push to give the state fairgrounds a new identity after the departure of the iconic Space Needle. Yeah, this week the city's Art Commission actually voted they wanted to recommend an installation of this, the Bolt Tower, to the city council. Hopeful 75 feet sculpture named after what horses do and lightning bolts. News Force Caitlin Ogle has more. The hope and vision is that it will also inspire moments of pause and wonder and excitement. Jenny Sabin talking about the Bolt Tower. The OKC Office of Arts and Cultural Affairs says the $905,000 structure would be funded through the city's 1% for arts ordinance. So this is being funded through the Coliseum, which is a, a largely a MAPS4 project. Um, everybody agreed that using that money as one lump sum for an outstanding work of art would be the ideal choice. The city is sending out the bidding process to artists all over the world. 60 responded, then narrowed down to three. It's unfortunate uh, that there were no Oklahoma artists selected. We can't show any favoritism to Oklahoma artists. I think their selection was fantastic. Saban's unique design making its way to the top. The Ithaca architectural designers' concepts combine nature and biology with art. One of the fundamental questions that I pose is, you know, how might buildings and their integrated materials respond and adapt more like organisms do. The there. Cornell professor says like her other structures, the Bolt Tower presented itself while doing research to embody and celebrate the Oklahoma State Fair using durable materials playing off of nature. So there will be a, like a mesh of, of steel cable. We'll have a whole gradient of polycarbonate uh, panels. We're going to laminate the those panels uh, with a, what's called a wavelength dependent dichroic film. That changes color based on the orientation to the sun and also our orientation to it. She also wants to incorporate your family's pictures from the fair. Those memories and photographs uh, will become a part of the exterior skin. Our plan is to have them processed as silhouettes. In the end, Oklahoma history combined with a playful dance of light and color. In Oklahoma City, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Well, there we go. The goal for the tower to be completed in June 2025, around the time the Coliseum's construction is complete. Right now, it's not really certain where the sculpture will be placed, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess.